I feel like what's good gets discussed, and that's one of the great things about today with social media yeah. is that things don't even have to get promoted in a traditional sense. They get promoted by the people that actually enjoy it. People start talking about things on Twitter and Facebook, and, and yeah. next thing you know, you know, people are watching it just by word of mouth. Yeah, that's like a whole part of this. I don't understand that stuff at all. Mm, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, I know it. it ex- no, I mean, I know, I know it exists. I'm yeah. just like, I don't have that, like Facebook, Twitter. You don't have any it, of those things. No, like Instagram. Too. I just, you. I just went on TikTok recently. Oh no! I don't. I That's was the like, worst. Oh my god! No, it's amazing. That's I, Chinese spyware. I know it is, but like, I mean, there, really is. I know it really like, is. Like, really should be illegal. There, there are. I mean, everyone's already so up in my shit. I did. I spent two years investigating preparing a piece on trump and russia where i like went to the ukraine like my 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 that's dude that that horse left the barn a while ago what was the that chinese like? can have what they want they just get <laughs> fucking line there's nothing in there anyway <laughs> what was that like you you spent two years yeah i was trying to make i wanted to after 2016 after trump was elected i i did a uh, it didn't get made but i did a lot of research into like his whole the whole russia story and um and then um, wrote a script and sold it to Showtime, and at the last minute they killed it when Showtime got bought by Viacom. Damn. Um, yeah, it was. A, yeah, what was it hurt. what was your take on that? Like, cause like I have the most cursory understanding of Trump and Ukraine and Russia and the Biden laptop and Barisma and all that shit. I I just I'll watch a few YouTube commentators talking about it. And I'll read a few articles in the Atlantic, and I don't know what's real. Yeah, I mean, I think I don't. I don't think anybody really got it. um, Really got it right. I mean, the the it's kind of the problem with the media today. The narrative that started about collusion, um, that that the left just like fucking doubled down on and tripled down on, was kind of not really right in the beginning, and then when when it didn't when the evidence didn't bear fruit to what they had been proposing people said well then there's like nothing here so i it's a super complicated story but but it's not it hasn't really been told Mm. i mean that's that's definitely for sure why did they kill that that seems like a fascinating take i would love to see your take on. i think that uh they thought it was like probably bad business why well i thought it would be cool to like you know, fuck with the sitting president on TV. <laughs> you know, I was like, television's never done this before. This can be like a me, and they were like, yeah, that's not a, that's not a smart idea. Bad for regulation. Bad just for, like you're a yeah. multinational company with business before the fucking government. Just no. Have you thought about doing that independently? Yeah, I mean, I should I should have done right? I should yeah I should have done it independently. Mm. I should have done it independently. Maybe it'd be good now because time has passed. The thing is that every day something else crazier happens mm. on that story, right? On the Trump story, like every week he's doing something else where you're just like, "That's even fucking crazier than the shit I wrote down." Right. So it's hard to keep up with it. But you know, Russia isn't going anywhere. Obviously, there, there, there. People are starting to realize now some of the stuff that that was even pretty obvious in 2016 about how um, about how much they're committed to like security and adventurism and like pushing out. Mm. That's not going to change anytime soon. Adventurism? It's just like, a, I just mean like military, like trying, trying to use their military to like get shit. Mm. It's like a, historical term but like it just there that's what they're that's what that putin has 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 been and i'm by no means like an expert so i'm really talking out of my ass right now but putin has what i understand is that putin has like basically failed at a lot of other typical things that people do like like russia has not been able to build a technology sector we don't have one like we're not driving russian cars we're not like Mm -hmm. like russian computers they don't have like a he, he, I, the energy sector is good, but they haven't really built. He hasn't really been able to build that much. What do you attribute that to? I don't think he's very good at it, but he's good at security. Mm. So he puts like a lot of energy into like military, military intelligence, like propaganda, security, fucking with other people's elections, mm. which they are pretty good at. Yeah, like they definitely, good at they, yeah, they're really good at it. They kind of are 
the best in the world at it. That's the most fascinating aspect. I mean, they fucked with man. ours, yeah. like, pretty heavily, uh, and especially on social media. Yeah. Well, they, what they do, and people are like, oh, they're in Trump's pocket. Well, this is what they do. They undermine democracy. They get people fighting. Yeah. And they, they consistently um, go into all of these places where people communicate and debate ideas, and they do it with bots. Yeah. And they they make some points outrageous because they connect them to preposterous points. They 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 do something where they undermine our trust, and that's the overall long game goal is yeah. to undermine democracy. It's not simply to get a puppet in office. Like that was the simplistic version yeah. of what they're trying to do. But when you you know, we uh, we did a story, uh, we covered a story recently where they found out that 19 of the top 20 Facebook Christian pages were run by troll farms in, mm -hmm. in, in Russia. And it's like, wow, that's great. So that's they're, amazing. They're just trying to get people radicalized and trying to get people to be polarized to the opposite side and trying to divide up as, divide us as much as possible and undermine any faith that we might have in the way we have our elections and the way the government is run it's like a consistent effort to undermine our faith in the way our democracy works yeah, and they would argue that it's pretty easy to do because we're already at each other's throats. And it's all accentuated by things like TikTok and Facebook and social media and the algorithms. I mean, so far my TikTok is pretty innocent. What I do just, you get? I well, I you know, I I clicked on the stupidest shit. So I <laughs> <laughs> But did, are you comfortable with them like fully having access to all of your passwords and every keystroke you make on your phone and No, that freaks me out. I mean, I was I one of my earliest interests as a journalist was privacy. Mm. I was writing about internet privacy in like 1990, like seven. Oh wow! Okay, and I I I re I realized that this whole thing that was coming for our convenience was going to be a, a giant system that that really, in the name of convenience, took away our privacy. Hmm. Like you can you can go through the internet without without giving away your privacy. It's just not. It's just a huge, hugely inconvenient thing to do. And that troubles me a lot. I mean, I think privacy is really really important, but it's weird because I at that time I was really concerned about like corporations spying on people, pull gathering people's information and using that to to target them with products.